Thank you, next speaker. My name is Ricardo Cultivado. I am... I am the business manager of the Grand Lago of our church. Our second speaker is Sophia, a man who leads us to where we are today. Where are you at today? Your leader, Joseph S. Martinelli! So many of our brothers and sisters that have joined us here today, and I want to thank a bunch of other, a bunch of other unions that are here supporting us here today. Unite Here is here today. Let's thank Unite Here. I want to also thank our brothers and sisters from the operating engineers who are supporting us here today. Brothers and sisters, this is my 40th year as a member of the UNA. 40 years representing you, the members who have built every inch of this province, every inch of this country. We're here today to show the government that the power is out here, not in the halls of the legislature. We have been negotiating with our contractors. We have been at the Ontario Labor Relations Board achieving the jurisdiction that we have. We've done it honestly, and we've done it because of the hard work of our members. That's how we achieved it. For over 40 years, We've done it at the Labor Relations Board, not in Queen's Park. We don't need anybody to hand anything to us. We do it ourselves because of the hard work. But lately, lately, they squeezed in a Schedule 14 into the budget secretly, secretly in the budget. And if we have a problem, we fight at the Ontario Labor Relations Board. We don't need the government to interfere in our affairs. What Schedule 14 does, 
It takes away the jurisdiction of our farm workers in the ICI sector that we have achieved. We achieved it legally and fairly over 40 years. And now the government, at a stroke of a pen, is going to try to take it away from our members. for the government. It's called BS. Oh, BS. Oh, BS standing for oh, betrayal oh, and stupidity. Oh, That's what BS oh, stands for. Oh, oh, betrayal oh, and stupidity. Oh, we have supported this government for so many decades telling them what to do for working people. We worked hard in convincing the government to do the right thing. And this is payback. They try to screw our members. They're betraying the working people of this province. I was a member of the Liberal Party. Here's my card. I'm ripping it up. Yeah! Rip it up! Rip it up! Rip it up! Brothers and sisters, all we want is an organization for our hard-working members. All we want is fairness. We're not asking for anything else. We don't go there with our hand out like the carpenters union, asking for a favor, asking for favoritism. We don't do that. We all we ask for is fairness. And we met with the Premier, Jack Oliveira, our lawyer, Sean McFarling, and myself met with her on Thursday, and we presented her with a fair offer one that was even too fair. We said, give the carpenters the same jurisdiction as us. We can handle it. We can handle it if they're the same as us. A fair playing field. She refused it. She wants to give them our Our members wear with pride the fact that they have dirt underneath their fingernails, that they are scorched by the sun in the summer and the cold of winter. We wear these things as a badge of honor. We're proud of who we are. It took us years, this brother said it took us years. Speaking of years, okay? We have our brother Chirilo that's here, our pensioner. He's been a member for 62 years. A member of Leona Local 183 for 62 years. And he's never seen this level of favoritism in this province ever. Brothers and sisters, let's stay united, let's stay strong, because we are the largest construction union in Canada, over 120,000 members, not like the Carpenters Union with 12,000 members. the power because the power is you you're the power and in June there's a provincial election let's show the government where the power is if they don't change this amendment they need to be crushed so brothers and sisters I'm honored to be here with you I'm honored to be your representative here in Canada but I want to have the pleasure here today of introducing another leader, 
a strong leader that took over Leuna Local 183 a short while ago and took it to new heights with over 60,000 members here in the Toronto area. He was able, he was able to win over the hearts and the minds of our Leuna members. And you, the members of Leuna Local 183, threw out the bums that were there before. And you know where they went. And you know where those guys went. They went over to the Carpenters Union. That's where they went. But we have a leader. We have a leader at the Uno Local 183. And we have a leader that runs the provincial office of Leuna that represents all of our good men and women that are members of Leuna right across the country. I'm proud to call him a friend. I'm proud to call him my brother. Let's hear it for Jack Oliveira.